What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got something uh, pretty cool to show you today. This is another customer build. Been uh, doing, uh, going back and forth with him for a while on this one. That's my buddy Jimmy, shout out to him for supporting the channel. Really an awesome build. Uh, it is not another Tamiya car, in fact, it is a crawler today. And probably one of the nicer builds I've seen in a long time. He really killed it, really took his time with it. All top notch electronics, uh, great paint job but that's enough teasing you uh, let's check out what it is all right guys here it is this is the vanquish phoenix my buddy jimmy did up this thing is beautiful he killed it this truck paint job rims got them deep dish rims on there uh it's it's pretty sweet let me get you in check it out a little closer all right guys, here we are. We got those sick looking rims here. Those have the deep dish. He said uh, they got these extra rings in here. He special ordered them just for this truck to give it a deep dish offset. Also makes the tires a bit wider because it stretches out the sidewalls there. So really an awesome look, uh, coupled with the vintage looking body with the two-tone. He's got the, the cream with the candy red. And honestly, the camera is probably not doing any of this paint job any justice. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, it does come with those window trim stickers, which look really nice, coupled with this paint. He really knocked it out of the park with that. He got the interior in there, spared no expense on the interior here. He says he's got a nice little digital screen coming in for this thing to simulate navigation. Got the little shifter in there, painted everything. Two-tone on the seats. See if I can get you up on the... Look at that. Sunroof with a little tint on it. Uh, so really a beautiful job there. Really killed it. And from the front here guys so the interior and this is coming in really good he did a great job putting in the stickers and doing the paint in the back here look at this little guy we got a little window sticker very nice fuel tank uh, matching paint cover there with the cage in the back did painted all the the screw heads on the tank killing it there let's check out what it looks like in the back this does have lights installed, which we will check out in a second, of course. Truck is all stock otherwise. Look what we got. He got the incision lights in there, which are super bright. We have a servo winch wired in through, which when I take the body off, you'll check that out. So he did really a phenomenal job on the body here, guys. So I'll go ahead and pop the body off for you. We can check that out. A couple clips in the back here on either side. And the body shall hinge forward because it hinges on this clip in the front. But if you pull that out, the whole body will come off. But you see we hinge up like that, which is pretty cool. So just so I don't have to sit here and hold it, I'm going to pull the front clip, pull this guy out, push the little pin forward enough so you can grab it on the other side. Slides out. And now we can lift the whole body off. So you can see his lights going on in here. So pretty cool. So checking out the rest of the truck here, guys. We got Savox uh, 1258s for the shifts and the dig servos. Hobbywing Axe system with the 2800 kV motor. A Savox 2292 servo and a Reefs 299 LP. That's the winch in the front. Um, so he did a pretty good job wiring this up. He did custom make this box. Uh, this is not included with the truck. He made this to hold his uh, all his receiver box and electronics and stuff, which I believe you can put back here uh, if you do not have a 3D printer to make the box. But he was just having fun with it. Uh, that is a uh, Protec 4500 three cell shorty pack. So he could put the ESC in the same tray as the battery, which uh, looks pretty clean. Otherwise, it would go uh, where this box is, but he's just mixing it up a little bit moving along the front here guys He did install of course the winch which we just saw a little bit. We got the line. That's the Traxxas hook They give you this nice bumper on there and it runs up underneath there It does not hit when the suspension is compressed. It looks really close, but it doesn't uh, that's the vanquish servo horn Everything looking pretty clean under here. This is more or less pretty much all stock Just so you guys can get it under view all vanquish servo horns on these pretty clean setup here so yeah that's the electronics you use so if you guys are looking to build one of these and not really sure what to use everything fit 
really well and pretty cleanly in this truck here. Didn't need much. This is just an extension coming out of the box for his lights. Uh, so really a clean build. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys what's going on with these servos here. Jimmy is using a 7PXR Futaba radio, which is an extremely nice controller. And in order to control all the cool functions that he wanted to do, it is proven to be a, a very nice setup. He actually wrote down on the bottom here for his and my uh, convenience what each button does. Uh, so it's pretty sweet setup. I'm gonna try my best I can to show you. See if I can get you a little better shot of that winch working. So right now, I have it set. So I'm hitting the button, pulling it in. So I knock the bottom switch forward. Now the winch comes out. And you knock the bottom switch in. It is actually pulling my whole table at the moment. Pulls it right in. Hold the button, it goes in. Tap that forward, it goes out. Tap it back, it goes in. Pretty simple setup, and you can control the speed of in and out with the knob right here. So, pretty convenient setup, pretty good way he has that. All right, going over a couple more buttons here. Uh, he has the lights set up on a switch as well for this one, which is pretty cool. That's what the little box was inside the body. Uh, so the front lights, you just click the button on off so pretty convenient there uh, and these are the incision lights which are pretty bright i got the studio lights on right now but check those out even with the lights on in the room that's pretty sweet and he's got a program to click the buttons on and off so pretty cool all right so i got it up here on this uh, nice tape roll stand here so i can show you guys uh, the overdrive setup hopefully the camera can fit everything here uh, he's got it set up on the front of the controller right here up and down uh, see where we're at right now so all the way down we have the six percent overdrive in the front at the moment and then he has it set this is what i was talking about with things kind of set in the middle so he put it in the middle here so now we just have rear wheel drive front is disconnected so you can just drive it around two-wheel drive which is pretty cool and then if you flip it up again and now it goes to the 33% overdrive in the front. So, see if I can kind of catch that. So that's pretty cool. So you can flip between them, two wheel drive, and 6%. And then he's got it over here. You can turn the dig on, so the rear end is locked. So right now with the dig on, I can click the front one up again, and actually the truck will go in neutral. Not that you would use that that much, but it's pretty fun anyway. Uh, if you want to roll the truck or if you're in a winching situation, it might be cool. And then I can go completely front wheel drive with the 33% or I can do 6% front wheel drive and then kick the rear end back on and go rear wheel drive. So that's pretty sweet with the 7PXR. Let's check it out on the rocks. We 
got the winch hooked up on this kind of flat rock. There you have it guys, the Vanquish Phoenix build, the first one I've gotten to play with, and uh, I could say it's a pretty awesome truck. Uh Jimmy put a lot of cool features in this truck. Vanquish put a lot of cool features. Jimmy Moore is taking advantage of them, which is pretty cool. Truck looks good. Crawls good. Probably could use a little more weight uh, if you were trying to do some real competition stuff with it. But right out of the box, pretty fun. Uh, it's fun to play with the winch and the, the dig unit and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a pretty cool truck. Uh, shout out to Vanquish. Good for them. Shout out to Jimmy for letting me play with it. Awesome job. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.